Well, apparently I'm out of goulash. What am I missing? The meat. Well, oh, the meat box is empty, isn't it? Yep, the meat box is empty. Let's see what's the price of the meat today. Uh, so we got chicken at 150, beef at 250. 550 for the deer. Jesus, that's expensive. What the hell happened? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt down some deer. Yep, they will be a hunting day. Welcome to Medieval Engineers. So, as you saw before, I'm out of meat and uh, I'm not doing too good in bolts, so I'm gonna have to grab some more. So, let's go over here to the blacksmith station and uh, let's do some more bolts. Yep. So, let's see. There it is. So, what, what do I need? I need sticks for this. Okay, let's get some sticks. And the farm is coming along. Look at all the wheat and the flax that I got. I'm gonna have to collect all of this. That's pretty sweet. So let's go over here because I believe I have a box filled with sticks. There it is. So let's bring two stacks. That should be enough. Yeah, nice. So I had wheat here and as you can see it ends up with this cracked uh, floor and it looks kind of cool for a path. Definitely. I might actually plant all the way on this path, but at the same time I don't dislike how it looks like this. Yeah, might be good enough. Okay, so I figure that 40 should be enough. Does it stack? No, it doesn't. It's uh, 52. Okay, that's good enough. I do have a lot of antlers. I got 9 here, I got more somewhere else. And this, uh, the pelts, because I need these things. It's on the workbench. To do these heads, and I think they're gonna look pretty cool in the grocery store, in the restaurants, and even in my own house. I already got two here. There it is. And another one there. I should give them names and stuff. I don't know what this is. What the hell is this? This is 100%. It's like there's a piece of paper here, right? Did you put it here? Okay, enough talking. So let's get some height. I still haven't finished the bridge, but I do have some nice scaffolding. So let's take advantage of this and let's get... Oh, look at them. Look at them. The first customer of the day. Let's see if I can get a nice shot from here. Oh, a little too short. That one seems to be a little closer. Let's see. There he goes. Another thing. In one of my previous episodes. Oh, nice. Those two are gonna go down. I was wearing the wooden crossbow. There he goes. Nice. So let's see what I get from that. They look like two girls, but you never know. I, I really can't tell. And now I'm wearing the iron crossbow, so it, it definitely is much better. Uh, can't loot you, can I? No. Okay, let's bring it close to your brother. There you go. How do I drop? There it is. Some... Uh, no, I gotta have to wait. And they are done. So let's see. Two meats, one pelt, and... Okay, I got an antler. Nice. So, when you approach from the northwest, you kind of see a big building over there. We see the barn, we see the bridge. It's pretty... pretty uh, where? It's, it's weird, I have no idea where the sound came from. It came like from all around me. What I was saying is, uh, I haven't expanded the village too much on this side. Is that, is that at the other there? No, that's just a light flickering. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to, because this kind of looks like a wall a little bit. Looks like the, the division. Where the where the town starts. So let's see, because I'm, I I definitely did meet. Oh, there's another one. There it is. Down he goes. Sweet. Oh, and I see another one over there. Oh, god damn it! I can't loot you guys. What what's the deal here? Huh? Why can't I loot you? Let me loot you, dude. Let's kill another. I saw him. Over here, over here, there it is. 
There he goes. Oh boy. Those were two very good shots, wasn't they? Let's see if I can loot this one. Unfortunately, I don't think I can hold the torch while I'm, while I'm killing animals. Uh, they don't like it. You either put the torch on your bag or you kill the animals. You can do both. So in the meantime, let's eat some salads. But the goulash is just much better. Let's see if I remember where the other one was. Because if it's hard enough to find the deer... Oh boy, just to find a bag. Oh, there he is. Okay. Get out. There you go. Let's let a few more minutes then. Okay, two more meats. Nice. And... Uh, come on, man. What? Oh boy. There he goes. The ghost of the deer past. Okay, let's see. So let's see what we got so far. Nine meats and four deer pelts. I think it takes one meat per, per goulash. I got plenty of uh, bread. But the meat is really the problem. So, yeah, but now it's night time. It's going to be a little tricky to see them. Maybe in third person. Jesus. I think I think now I'm the prey. I think now the deer are going to come come to bite my ass cuz I can't see much. Okay, oh, he's right in front of me. He was right in front of me. Holy moly, where the hell did he go? Yeah. Oh, there he is. There he goes. That was a good shot. It's not weird at all to run around with a deer in front of me, is it? I don't think it is. I think it makes perfect sense. There it is. So let's see what we got. Another... Ooh, this one was a fatty. Nice, I like fatty deer. So I think I'm gonna call off the, the mission right now. Because it's way too hard for me to see. So I think I'm gonna start doing something else. Let's do those deer heads and let's implant them somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna become a, a taxidermist now, uh, but, that, but that's okay. That's part of the process. Uh, okay, so let's collect these, and I think I'm gonna need also some sticks or something. So No, it's on the workbench. There it is. Uh, yeah, so let's put it in. The belts and this. And I need planks. Okay, there you go. Let's take out the stones, I don't need them. So let's do... so it's one by one. Okay. So let's do a bunch of them. They don't stack, unfortunately. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna have friends all over the village. <laughs> I should change the name. They should be like the Deerville. Deerville, huh? How about that about a name? That's terrible. Ugh. But I can't really think of a better one, to be honest. Okay, so let me just put this stone back here. A small stone goes on this one. There you go. And the big stone goes outside. I still got a nice, real, uh, nice supply uh, in the stone mine. I have plenty of big stone to bring it over. I just don't have a nice cart to bring it. Uh, so where should I start putting a nice deer head? I think I'm gonna start by the restaurant. I think here somewhere a nice deer head should fit. And uh, I think like over here, but I, it, it's it's look like it's glitching into the wall. It could be in the entrance, to be honest. Yeah, so that people know. Oh boy, they killed you here. There it is. And uh, I got the nice little pillar. Oh, looking much better. And it kind of looks like the deer is poking out, because we can't really see the, the wood over there that holds the head. But I think it looks much better. Look at that. Now, in the grocery store, would be kind of cool. Oh, I can put it laid down. Nice. <laughs> Maybe I can do some way that it kind of looks that I got a, a couple deer here that are just dead and back here, and I still haven't gone to get the meat out of it. You know what I mean? The hunter just brought the deer in, and they're just laying around. <laughs> so, let's see if I can... It would be kind of cool if I could come in here and see a bunch of de dead meat... Dead... Oh, Jesus. Should I try again? I think I better. 
Looks like that I'm gonna try is to see if I can put the, de the head in the table. No, it doesn't go in the table. So I might have to do something custom. So let's start by putting down... Is this good enough? It's a bit tight, but I think it should work. I'm gonna do some sort of uh, improvised table. A butchering table. Something like that. And I think it should be good, I like this. There you go. Now let's just close this thing out with a two. There you go. So now let's see if I can stick the heads in. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Let's, uh, oh, there it is, nice. So when we come over here, we cannot just see the heads. <laughs> and the people go, okay, deer is really damn expensive, but at least it's fresh. Look at them, they're still blinking. <laughs> Another thing that I could do is put the deer head right here. It would be like the, <laughs> I mean, it would be a little bit of an insult, right? The the clerk that works here has a deer head. Uh, but, uh, you know, I might try it sometime. To do some sort of a doll. Because it feels kind of lonely around these parts. Not gonna lie. So another place where this thing would fit very well. Would be in my neighbor's house. Because he's a hunter. He's out. He left me the keys to the house. He's still empty. He's still in the process of moving in. Uh, so... I can just decorate it a little bit. I think he would appreciate it because he is a he is a hunter. So I think I'm gonna put a few deer, uh, deer heads right here. This will be like the the trophy wall. I'm thinking kind of this like being a living room in this open area, and on top might be the bedrooms. Here we would have a kitchen and a nice big hall, an entrance. So I think. I'm gonna start decorating this wall right here. I think this this area is gonna have, uh, I don't know, one, maybe two deer heads? What about ten? Is it too much? Do you think my neighbor is not gonna like it? I mean, he is a hunter. Uh, he's just deer. It would be better if I had like a moose here, a bear, a dog. No, no man, a dog no, not a dog. <laughs> but a few different animals. Uh, I don't know. I think I like it. I think it works. So in the blacksmith's factory, this is actually with where leather uh, tools and weapons are crafted. It makes sense. Having the the iron, the metals and stuff, it makes sense to have leather working here because they do make things to sell. So I think a few deer heads should also look very good. And I think this pillar is the prime place to put it. One right there and one right here. There you go. My last two deer heads. I think the village is looking much better. It's all deered up. Yeah, I like it. So daytime is coming and uh, the grist mill stands really nicely here. I like it. I think it worked out. I could have extended the roof higher to actually cover up the thing, but I, but I think it works. I think it works. So what I'm thinking about doing is continuing this path all the way up here to the top of this hill. This part is a little bit clumpy, I might try to remove it and make it a little bit flatter. And this will be a place for a house for the people too. This will probably be a rich house, a rich guy's house, made out of stone with a, a nice porch, a nice garden, and a nice, a nice wall all around the property. And uh, it would oversee the village. I think it will, it will look kind of cool. But it will be for another episode. Because I'm probably going to reserve it for a full episode. Because uh, I'm still not sure of the design of it. Of course, I've got the bridge a little close. So there's another good reason why I'm going to probably have to remodel the topography of the terrain here. This is a little bit lumpy. Uh, and possibly bring the house a little bit down. Possibly all the way here. But let's see, for the time being, I think it should be okay. So I'm gonna have to do like this, there you go. Enough with the heads for the time being. 
enough with the deer heads. Uh, what I really need is some more meat. So let's crank up a few more goloshes because I'm already starting to get hungry. And let's resume the killing. So it's actually one bread and one meat each. It just takes two uh, roots, but I got a lot of roots. So let's make 10 of them. Let's make 10 of them. Yep, let's put some more sticks in here. There you go. And a little bit more. I can grab more outside. That should be fine. Okay, so let's just supply it with a little bit more roots. Roots are very easy to come by because, I mean, even bushes supply roots. Not only the plants that you eat. So we should be okay. There it is. Oh, nice. It's gonna be awesome. In terms of supplies, uh, I could use more herbs. The flex is doing very well. Uh, I thought I had some wheat here. Okay, I got a lot of pumpkins too, which is pretty cool. And not so much cabbages, so I'm probably gonna have to take care of the farm in my own house. There you go. The the yeah, he stacks some groups of five, so let's actually leave some some wheat here. Uh, maybe I should bring it over to the grist mill because that's where I'm gonna produce the flour. So in reality, this mill doesn't make much sense now because these are the two things that I'm actually producing much more efficiently over there in the grist mill. So this mill could could get out of here. I'm gonna leave it for the time being because it makes sense to have it in the restaurant because you know. They might end up not having enough flour, they didn't bought it in time, or it didn't arrive. So they kind of have to make it their own. They have to improvise. So uh, late at night, a few customers from the village next next door come around and they want a meal. It's 15 people and they gotta come up with the, with the goods. So yeah, I think, I think it makes sense to have the, the meal right here. Okay, so I got 9 goulashes. I'm gonna leave uh, this salad goes into the table because I stole it. Yeah, this table doesn't have any salads. It's gonna get a lot of flies around it, but you know, I I think it's better just to have something already done in case someone comes in and is really hungry. I just grab them like this. Food is already made, and look who it is. I don't think I think he came because he knows my neighbor isn't home. Otherwise, he wouldn't be here. With 10 of his brothers stuck to the wall? Yeah, buddy. I don't think that was a good idea. You thought I would leave you alone, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Not so much. Still waiting on the bag. Yep. What if I look around? Does the bag show up for... No, still no bag. Maybe I just have to grab a different thing, like a sword. What about... No, still, still no bag. What if I crouch? Uh, crouch, it doesn't seem to work. Sometimes we can loot these things, other times not so much. Uh, I don't know, but I want those antlers, dude. There's a line in the Lord of the Rings about a really small thing made by one of the humans that I would really like to use here, but I don't remember the line. Yeah, it's like, uh, how can such a small thing uh, influence the, the world in such a big way, something like that. So I'm thinking, I got a nice big big tower over here too, and I haven't come here in quite a while. So from up here, yeah, as you can see, my log storage is doing very well. Uh, I don't have to uh, grab trees in a really little while. So up here, I got a nice view. Of course, it might not render in. Well, let's see if I can spot a few deers from up here. I, 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 I don't see a single deer. I, I really don't. Yeah, I'm just way too high and way too far. One thing that is noticeable is that the game starts to struggle a little bit once there's a lot of things built, especially with a lot of torches around. Because my frames d did drop, my computer is pretty good, and... Uh, I kind of have to mingle a little bit with the settings to kind of keep it working. Uh, but yeah, I got two extra deer over there. Maybe it's the deer that, is, that it's... Uh... Oh, just over. Come on, baby. Don't do not do it like that. Yeah, man. This crossbow is just way too powerful. There he goes. Right on the neck. It was a neck shot. 
This is gonna be a, an S shot. There he goes. Oh man, that was lovely. But definitely, I don't know if you noticed, but from up there, the rendering of the, the distant terrain in the trees is not the same as it was in the beginning of the playthrough. Oh, now I can. Nice. No antlers now. Yeah. Usually when I can loot them, they don't have antlers. That's the only thing that I kind of figured out. Uh, I guess this one must have antlers. Let's see. And... Antlers. There you go. He's got one antler. Is, is it antler and antlers? Or is it one antlers and two antlers? Is it, is it always antlers? I don't know. Uh, okay, so I got I can do a little bit more deer heads, but this is addicting. Uh, this is kind of like the only projectile weapon in the game, the crossbow. It's kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Other games I do enjoy to use bows and crossbows, uh, mostly bows actually. I prefer the bows to the crossbows because the crossbows are usually so t slow to reload and slow to fire and uh, the bows are usually a little bit more satisfying to use to me. Uh, but there it is, yeah. No, no deer here. I just wish they could swap the deer a little bit for a couple of barbarians. I don't know. I haven't seen a single barbarian. And I do have enemies to 10 times. Uh, so, I don't know. I tried different areas in the map. I tried... Uh, building things just to see if something spawns. I tried a land plane block. It just didn't work. Unfortunately. But I got the deer. That's the most important thing. I would never try to eat barbarian meat. Uh, so... That's why deer is always better. Yeah, if he gives meat and antlers. Does the barbarians have antlers? Maybe I could... Oh yeah, they, they give the skulls. That's the thing. I can't really get skulls. The only real way is to get a treasure map and find it in one of those boxes that show up from the air. I actually got a few map pieces here. Let's see if I can do a new map. One... No. I only have three pieces. Yeah, I'm missing the lower left. The lower left piece. Yep. When I get it, I'm gonna have to dig some clay and get myself some more metal. So usually that's where I get the the map pieces. I don't know if cutting down trees gives me also. I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure that digging out the dirt and the metals gives uh, map pieces, so probably in the near future I'll be able to do another map. So let's try a different region. Let's go up the the bridge here, which is kind of done, almost done. I mean, not much left to do, really. I just gotta put the timbers in, which is a little bit time consuming, not gonna lie. I managed to put quite a bit of it. I did an entrance here, I think it makes sense. An exit point. And I still have to attach all the timbers all the way, and this part is not complete, neither. And I'm using round timbers, because they give a little bit less friction than the square timbers. And I gotta attach them all the way to the stone mine. It's gonna be a while, eh? Yeah. And I still got some more logs on here, because on the way I did have to cut down some trees. And I still got the scaffolding. I didn't remove it, because I don't know if I might do uh, some other change to the outside look. Because, as you can see, back here, I extended the, the thing with these uh, ledges, with battlements. This is all one piece. But it kind of doesn't go very well with the arch. I don't dislike it completely, but I was considering changing the arc for a full block. And maybe putting the arch underneath. But it would look a little bit thick. And I kind of prefer to see the abutments bridge with this lock. Uh, if he has a full block over there, I think it's going to be less realistic. I think like this it looks much better, much more like real life. And uh, it's just a fact of uh, getting accustomed with those little uh, ledges coming out underneath. Which I don't think it's too bad. But I came here because usually I find deer. But... Uh, yeah, this is the new look, as you can see with the ledge. Because this way, I'm, all, I'm only gonna do it in one side. Yeah, and I hear them already. I wasn't counting on doing on both sides. 
for two reasons. It takes a long time, a lot of resources. And also, I just need to be on one side to be able to push and pull the cart and actually pass through without getting the cart hitting me in the face. Uh, that's the main reason. But uh, you know what? I, I don't know where the deer is. I heard them. But I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna start working on this little house on the hill which I mentioned before and that's what I'm gonna probably do for the next episodes but for now I think this was a very fruitful day I got myself a lot of d-heads and a lot of meats and that was awesome thank you for watching and until next time